the, the mill slice, you will notice that there's several components that are uh, magnetically mounted to the mill shell there. So you've got the transmitter, and this is transmitting the data from the shell sensor to a uh, wireless receiver here, which is of course wired into the main control unit. You've got a battery pack with a battery life up to about 12 months. Um, so with each opportunity, um, these should be swapped out. You get uh, two, uh, two with the mill slicer unit, so you can keep one on charge. Um, and the other one, of course, on, on the mill. Um, you've got your T-Stink here as well. Now this is to um, essentially to tell the transmitter to uh, transmit the data with each rotation. Um, so this is uh, triggered by um, a sync magnet, which is mounted off the shell, sometimes to the brake, brakes unit or, or somewhere else. Um, so with each rotation, the, the T-Sync rotates past that. Um, it's triggered by the, the sync magnet um, and the data is transmitted off the shell back to the main unit. And you'll also notice that on the bearing housings, you've got an inlet and an outlet sensor as well. Uh, we're mostly interested in the data that comes from the, the shell mounted sensor, but we do get some useful data at times as well from uh, the bearing sensors too. Okay, now the mill slicer, uh, as mentioned, is using uh, vibration measurement. It's been uh, developed over a period of 20 years, originally in the cement industry. So there's hundreds of installations. I've heard over 500 installations of the original technology and has been refined for the minerals processing industry now. The outputs include the toe angle, the impact angle, liner damage level and fill level vectors. So you get three vectors, uh, one on the inlet, one on the discharge and one on the shell. So from one moment to the next, the mill is either filling, emptying, or is not changing. So these are relative signals. Applications include low aspect ratio mills. For low aspect ratio mills, we have uh, three shell sensors along the, the length of the mill. Uh, we have applications for both uh, SAG and AG mills, um, ball mills, um, and the tri-slicer I mentioned for the low aspect ratio mills. And these, this technology is appropriate for uh, polymet line mills, rubber line mills, steel line mills as well. Um, also suitable for counterclockwise and clockwise rotation. There's just a toggle option 